What does that say? Operations with polynomials. Nice. What do I want to do? Just like with the numbers, I want to add them, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them. So let's get a couple of polynomials up there. Why don't we add a few? Why don't we add two? Let's add a monomial, 3x squared plus x. Let's add that polynomial, two. Um, have a favorite? No? Okay. Um, 14 x to the third minus two x squared minus four. Sure. Awesome. Are those parentheses necessary? How can you tell whether or not parentheses are necessary? If there's a number outside or a minus sign outside, then you need them. There is no number or minus sign on the outside of this one. There is no number or minus sign on the outside of this one. So I can get rid of them. So now I got three x squared plus x plus 14 x to the third minus 2 x squared minus 4. Sure. Now we want to gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. We're trying to combine some like terms. What happened here? We just turned this thing into a gathering like terms. Uh, Simplifying algebraic expressions. Um, what do you want from me? Do I have any other x to the thirds? Mm, doesn't look like it. What about x squared? Yeah, sure, I got a couple squares. Looks like I only have one term with x's in it. And I have a constant term also. So I'm going to go ahead and write it in descending order. Descending order is when we write the degrees of the monomials in descending order, meaning that they're going down. So I'm going to put my 14x to the third. Ooh, what's 3 minus 2 minus x squared plus x minus 4? Sure. And then what? You're done. A box and a flower. Oh, goods. So let's revisit our two polynomials. This time, however, I don't want to add them. I want to subtract. Awesome. So we need to know, are those parentheses necessary? Um, is there a number or a minus sign out in front of this polynomial. No. So those are not necessary. Awesome. Here we do see that we got a minus sign on the outside and it goes and it goes and it goes. Uh huh. And then this is a minus 14 x to the third and a plus 2x squared, and a plus 4. Sure, but wait, there's more. <clears throat> now we're gonna gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. I'm again gonna write this in descending order. So here my highest power, or the highest degree of any of these monomials is three, so a minus 14 x to the third. Now I'm glad this came up. When you're commuting your terms, the minus sign sticks with the term. Ooh, here I got a couple of squares. A couple of squares. Three and two? Five. Plus five x squared. And then my constant plus x and my other constant plus four. Sure. And then what? Can I add these two? No, they're not like terms. Like terms are terms with exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers. <laughs> so I must be a box and a flower.
Thank you.